Mastering Prepositions, The Pathway to Perfect English Hello everyone! Today, we are going to tackle an essential component of English language learning, prepositions. Prepositions are crucial in conveying relationships between different elements in a sentence, and mastering them will significantly enhance your communication skills. So, let's dive right into it. Prepositions are words used to link nouns, pronouns, or phrases to other words within a sentence. They help express the relationships between different elements in the sentence, indicating things like location, direction, time, and manner. Some common prepositions include words like in, on, at, to, from, under, and many others. Now that we understand what prepositions are, let's look at some examples and how they function within a sentence. 1. In, used when referring to something contained by boundaries or inside something else. 2. Example, the pen is in the drawer. 3. On, indicates contact with a surface, usually used for things that are considered a surface. 4. Example, the book is on the table. 5. At, used for precise time, addresses, and activities. 6. Example, she is at the library. 7. To, indicates direction, place, or position. 8. Example, he is going to the cinema. 9. From, used to show the origin or source of something. 10. Example, the letter is from my sister. 11. Under, used to express something being beneath or below. 12. Example, the cat is under the table. Let's look at some more detailed examples of how we use these common prepositions in sentences. In, I live in New York. Place, on, the meeting is on Monday. Time, at, they're laughing at the joke. Activity, to, she gave the book to me. Direction, from, I received a gift from my friend. Origin, under, they took shelter under a tree. Position. Note that the meaning of the preposition can change depending on the context of the sentence. So it's important to practice using them in various contexts. That's it for our introduction to prepositions. We've learned what prepositions are, looked at some common ones, and discussed their usage in sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use these prepositions in your day-to-day -day English conversations. If you continue to practice and challenge yourself, you'll see a vast improvement in your command of English prepositions. Stay tuned for more grammar lessons, and happy learning, everyone!